know, if we have to ask for a day to prepare for a hurricane, we've got a great day here. This Tuesday's not looking too bad, but the forecast is going to start and end with what is now a major hurricane made landfall this morning at uh, Cuba. Meteorologist Richard Nunn with the Weather Authority update. Let's continue here the story and let me get you caught up on what we're seeing and the changes in case if you didn't keep up with it yesterday, that path has shifted more to the east. It's that pesky Euro model. It's still the odd bird out here, so that is why it's such an odd looking uh, cone. The model consensus is really tight which is why it's narrow to the south and then it fans out here anywhere from Brevard County all the way back over to Tampa. I mean there are some models that actually try to push it through uh, closer to Daytona versus that of turning it to the north just adding more to the confusion. We're going to go with what we have in front of us this path this is what we're planning for and also from what we're seeing through all the various model output and that is going to be a lot of wind and a lot of rain. There's one of the um, you see the euro with that little curly cue here around central Florida and then northward that would create such flooding issues if it was to uh, retrograde south and then lift north again for areas of central Florida. But let's talk about some of the rainfall with the new estimates coming in in excess of 30 inches in and around the Pinellas and Hillsboro area for Tampa. And our numbers are also seeing some of those have exceeded 10 inches and 12 inches, upwards of 15 plus inches possible, especially coastal zones. Now let's talk wind. You can see here this is Thursday afternoon and we're going to see some wind gusts that could take us up to and along uh, say 50 miles an hour late Wednesday, Thursday, and then starting to somewhat stabilize, although we'll still have some of the rain coming through on Friday, adding to what could be more of the flooding issues that we could see into this upcoming weekend. Your weather authority forecast, including that hurricane tracker, is always a click away if you've got our apps. It's a shout away on your favorite devices.